Hey there, and welcome to another musical meditation uh, from Kelvin Presbyterian Church out in Long Lake, Minnesota. My name is Mark Billiou, and I am the director of music at Kelvin Presbyterian, uh, today coming to you from my home. Uh, in these days after Epiphany, uh, some of us are still sort of clinging to the, the Christmas spirit. Um, you can see right there, I still have a little remnant uh, here on my piano. And uh, so for today's meditation, we're going to use a couple of things that were recorded uh, to go into our Christmas worship services, uh, but that, uh, as they say in the TV business, got left on the cutting room floor uh, for reasons, you know, often beyond our own control. Uh, so today, uh, we're going to listen to two things that were recorded in Calvin. Uh, the first is a piece that the handbell choir recorded, Go Tell It on the Mountain. Uh, and then we're going to follow that with a duet that Jared Miller, the choral pianist, and I recorded as a piano and organ duet, which is a medley of Christmas carols. Uh, the first one uh, is, was not necessarily very church appropriate, uh, and so we decided to, to leave that uh, for this meditation. So we're going to listen to two things directly coming to you from Calvin, the handbell choir, and Jared and I playing a piano and organ duet. Uh, and then I'll come back to you and uh, do a couple of words to introduce the next one. All right, here we go.
tuned in to our Epiphany service, uh, which you still can do, by the way. It's all archived right on the internet. You can go have a little Epiphany for yourself. Um, you would have known and would have heard uh, Carol recite a poem by Howard Thurman entitled The Work of Christmas. And I first became acquainted with this poem uh, about two years ago uh, when I was planning a concert for another group that I conduct called the South Metro Chorale. And uh, we were uh, do, putting on our December concert, uh, which I entitled Holidays Are Stressful, Come and Be Restful, uh, which we ended uh, the concert after having kind of taken an exploration of the things that cause us all the stresses during the holiday season um, with a setting of this exact poem by Howard Thurman. Um, the piece is a setting by local composer Elizabeth Alexander, who lives just over uh, in St. Paul. And she has entitled the piece, When the Song of the Angels is Stilled. Uh, and so, uh, because I am in charge of that organization, I have uh, swiped the copy of that performance of our, uh, of our singing of Elizabeth's setting of that Howard Thurman poem. I'm gonna read that poem once more, and then uh, we're gonna to listen to that recording. The Work of Christmas. When the song of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and the princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flock, the work of Christmas begins. To find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among others, to make music in the heart. This is the South Metro Chorale's performance of Elizabeth Alexander's setting of the same poem. When the song of the angels is still, when the song of the angels is still, when the song of the angels is still, the work of Christmas begins. When the star in the heavens is gone, when the star in the heavens is gone, when the star in the
that will wrap up our uh, sort of unique uh, hodgepodge of a musical meditation for this week. Uh, in the next two weeks, uh, we will, Carol and I will get back together after our, our nice little break here, and, uh, and we'll have another one for you uh, that will probably just be me again playing the piano, but it's been a nice little break to, to be able to share music that others are making as well. So uh, keep Christmas around. You can keep the decorations for as long as you like. This one's probably going back into the closet um, after I hit the stop button on this recording. Uh, but uh, be well until then, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>